Nestled in a crater among the Atitlan, Toliman, and San Pedro volcanoes, Lake Atitlan is a place of spectacular natural beauty. Unfortunately, this beauty, which draws visitors and creates economic opportunities for indigenous communities, is under grave threat by those of us who seek to benefit from this marvel. With the raw nutrients and the sewage, it's like a death suit for the lake. My name is Sean Eisenhower, and I started a group down here called Lake Atitlan Environmental Interest Group. We're riding around the lake to Santiago Atitlan to support Sean's nonprofit in reforesting the tool plant in the lake. Sean has been living by the lake with his family for several years, and with a long background in lake management, he quickly identified the emerging threats. We became involved because of Sean's other passion, breeding German Shepherds. What's going on today? We're going to pick up our puppy. When we came to his lakeside home to pick up Moxie as an eight-week-old puppy, Sean began to teach us about the threats to the lake. Atitlan is an endorheic lake, which means it's an enclosed basin with no outflow to the sea. As the surrounding communities like Panahachel contribute growing quantities of unfiltered waste, mostly from detergents, fertilizers and sewage, the lake begins to die from the bottom up. In a process called eutrophication, phosphate-rich nutrients are inducing the unchecked growth of phytoplankton. One natural remedy for preventing this is tool. Tool is a native plant that absorbs nutrients and filters the water. Unfortunately, about six years ago, abnormally high water levels decimated the tool population. Every town that has a significant amount of tool around the lake has their own group of tuleros. And they are the ones that have the legal ownership of the tool. The tuleros' interest in the plant is economic rather than ecologic. They harvest the tool, dry it, and weave it to make mats and cushions called petate. Ellos trabajan exclusivamente para petate. Antes toda la gente usa petate para colchón, para dormir. Y hay una parte se usa como sillón. Despite having different objectives for the tool, the environmental interests group and the tuleros share a mutual interest in protecting and proliferating this aquatic plant. Nevertheless, even with aligned interests and good communication, these alliances are fraught with challenges. This morning is no exception. When a group of church volunteers arrive eager to begin planting tool, the tuleros led by their union president refuse to collaborate. Having often found ourselves in these situations as aid workers in Africa, Greg and I know two things. Firstly, that believing their way of life threatened, the tuleros react viscerally, not logically. Secondly, that patience is the only remedy. Eventually a compromise is struck that sees the tuleros plant on public land further from town and the volunteers reforest the private land around the hotel bamboo dock. You'll notice today they won't plant near shore because we know the lake's going to go down a couple feet before it starts raining again. Then next year as the lake comes back up, these plants will be well established and they will actually grow into the shallower areas themselves. The tulero uses a thick wooden pole to drill a hole into the soft lake bed. The second tulero places the tool stock beside the pole. Then, as the first tulero removes the pole, the second tulero slides the tool stock into the hole before the tide can seal the wound. Finally, they stomp the mud around the tool, and if you're an amateur like us, you hope the wake of a passing motorboat doesn't uproot all your work. Normalmente cuando siembra el agua llega más o menos aquí. Empiezan a crecer unos 4 o 5 meses. Normalmente cuando se corta los 6 meses. By the afternoon the work is finished and as we gather for a cold drink at the hotel restaurant, we all agree that we have neither the skill nor the disposition to enter the tool game. We do, however, have a greater appreciation for the Tulero's daily labor and for the Herculean effort that it will take to save Lake Atitlan. This is the first step of a long process. There will be at least six or eight months, or two, three times, four times a month, planting tool all along the shores wherever we can get permission. Thank you to Sean Eisenhower and the Lake Atitlan Environmental Interest Group for what they are doing every day to save this amazing place. And thank you for letting us take part and share in it. If you would like to learn more about the lake, what needs to be done to save it, and how you can contribute, please visit them at savelakeatitlan.com. Desert Sunrise, 621. If you're interested in more about the development efforts around the lake, check out our outing with Friendship Ridge to visit with an artisan client at her home in Suduna. And for moto adventure videos, check out our YouTube channel, Rough on the Road. <laughs>